cops. That's the track, mm-hmm. right? Sounds good. It's, to me, that, that was like the palate cleanser before we head into whatever uh, the next song is. Um, number Song number four. Um, well, it's like but, half the song is like the breakdown, right? Right. It but, feels like that. They're like half the length of the song is just that one riff. Well, it sounds like it seems to me like they're presenting two sides of the coin. You know, they're presenting the the army of cops side, and then you know the what it is to suffer side, on um, being on the other side of, uh, you know, <laughs> not in the army of cops. Yeah. Well, I mean, thematically, so plenty, yeah, the idea of like an army of cops definitely plays into this notion of just being like constantly assaulted by like, yeah. this. But I, I the song like to me that song sounds like. <laughs> I don't know, this is like a bad thing to say, but I think of like the like the muscular bros and the basketball shorts and like the sleeveless shirts coming out to mosh to that song and like doing the karate <laughs> kicks and shit. <laughs> it reminds me of like deathcore, metalcore, breakdowny, but like with some influence from I almost hear like corn. I want to say, and I don't. If this feels like I'm saying bad words because I know a lot of people who listen to extreme metal don't like these bands, but that that song doesn't sound as much like Pig Destroyer to me as it sounds like these other genres. Mm-hmm. So it's like an interesting experiment. It definitely like sounds single like they could release it as a single, which they did. Yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't say the sound is corn. I, I, um, I guess it's just the way I mean, I, I guess, we, the, like I guess the, that breakdown part does kind of... The tuning, the, and I, corn is like the bad example because they have like a... In that subgenre, they have like a unique sound. But like those bands that came after corn with like the seven-string guitars that were tuned really low yeah. and like drop tuning... And it just kind of reminds me of that. I did really like the one. There's like one kind of high riff that's like, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's not what it sounds like, but it's like maybe the chorus part has like a riff that breaks from that, from like the kind of metalcore, deathcore sound that I thought was really interesting. But I, this is not like the type of music that I usually listen to, so I don't know if I have a lot like constructive to say about it. Mm-hmm. I, I know a lot of people didn't like this song when it, they released it, but I mean, it's. I think it's an intermediary song, honestly, because sometimes you need, to me, it sounds like kind of palate cleanser before, from what we started with, and then song number two, what we went into, and now we're kind of in this, we're in the world of it. Now we're probably going to, I think, go back to maybe more of the idea of the, uh, the head cage. And, I also feel like, like grindcore fans, and I feel like maybe like black metal fans, and crust punk and like those really crust niche punk. anti-social like aggressive esoteric like raw subgenres. i think the fans of the that music is they're really hard to please because it's like you have to be like the realist most true cult like burning down churches or like yeah. they're gonna think you're full of shit so it's not surprising that a grindcore fan base i think would hate a song like that mm-hmm. 